back to this already the final segment of the Price of Business here for you today. I am delighted to be with you as always talking about you and your business, the one and only Charles Alvarez. He's with CornerstoneBusinessAcademy.com. That's CornerstoneBusinessAcademy.com. He and I are going to chat, and then uh, we're going to talk. Uh, he's got a guest for us today. Let me tell you, Cornerstone Business Academy has done a, in a phenomenal job of helping uh, businesses from mid-market up, uh, and including some small businesses as well, achieve greater success, greater goals, and, and uh, I can I can vouch for him from personal experience uh, because of work he's done with our firm. And so I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Charles Alvarez. Charles, as always, welcome to the program. Introduce your guest today. Well, speaking of really helping small businesses in Houston and beyond, I'd like to introduce you all Lisa Holland Nelson who is president and CEO of uh, Content Act of a website and development firm that is uh, just absolutely fantastic. Lisa, welcome to the show. Thanks, Charles. It's my pleasure to be with you. Kind of take a minute and uh, give us an overview of what your company is all about. Well, Content Active is Houston's leading web and mobile design and development company. We work with companies to in- you know, increase their brand image online and mobile. We de- design websites. We build custom back-end um, applications so that they can manage whatever their clients need and deliver it in a timely manner. And that's probably the two leading products of our business. We also do search engine optimization, and we have a lot of mobile event management products. Very good. Charles? So, Lisa, kind of tell us about what are some of the major challenges that you're seeing in the marketplace, and how is Content Active uniquely positioned to rectify those issues? I think one of the biggest challenges Mm -hmm. our clients are facing today is the fact that the customer expects them to be available 24-7. With the advent of mobility, and by that I really mean pads as well as as mobile phones and PDAs, because you're never closed. And I think that's presented a problem that we haven't before for every business, not just the business that you'd normally expect, like a, like a traditional online business. And I think that, that we're really creating applications for our clients so that the, the customer can go ahead and execute whatever they desire without talking to the client specifically. Lisa, tell us about uh, how, how do we get more information? What's the website, by the way? Our website is www.contentactive.com, and um, you can see us there, and you can also find us on Facebook at Facebook slash Content Active. And that's contentactive.com? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Charles. So, Lisa, you've obviously been a staple in the Houston market for a long time. What types of industries do you not necessarily work the best with, but what, what, have you, uh, what is your ideal target market to work with? Well, our target market is, is mid, mid-market companies, um, which are scaling rapidly across any industry. We have energy clients. We have professional services clients. We have construction clients. And, and we also have some enterprise-level clients in the business space. Fifty percent of our business is done with major nonprofits as well. Our clients include the United Way, the Greater Houston Partnership, Goodwill, the Houston Food Bank. We do Houston Restaurant Weeks, which is probably one of the ro- most robust and off-hit websites in the country right now. So, um, so we work in both zones, and we work as partners to our clients, increasing their business online. Yeah. So uh, tell us about the, uh, you know, in terms of where you are as a business in 2014, how robust, how busy, those type of things. Well, we're looking at a lot of great new opportunities um, this year because what, what's really growing is the custom application business, specialty development for clients, clients that we have and clients that we don't have. The market is very exciting right now. Our existing clients, many of them don't have what's called a responsive website, and that's a website that will work on any device and any browser. So we're working with current clients updating the websites that they have and making sure that they're being found as well as new websites, making sure that, that it's easy. I think that's my word for 2014. I think it has to be easy when the client goes to contact you and reach you that they can get the answers that they need and get the help they need very quickly. Yeah, very good. Charles? 
So, Lisa, one of the things that I'm really impressed with what you're doing for your clients is how are you using the web to integrate their front office to their back office with some back with some uh, back office customization? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, I mean that that's what I was speaking of, and I guess I call it custom application development, but it really is back office. I mean, we have a client where we we built an application where this construction company can can end a project appropriately with all the documents for the client and and the client paying their bills. So the contractors have been paid, the clients are ready to run the buildings, and, and it was quite the project. I mean, we've also built applications for different political pro- product parties so that they could walk neighborhoods and know who was most likely to open their doors, which I think is just an incredible challenge to them. And that's very interesting. Go ahead and give that website one more time. www.contentactive.com. Go ahead, Charles. So, Lisa, kind of tell us a little bit more about kind of, uh, you know, some recent testimonies that you have helped solve some of those challenges for the customer, for your customers and kind of what the end result was. I think one, I think the biggest challenge that we faced most recently was with Crime Stoppers. Everyone's aware of Crime Stoppers and they came to us and they had a website that was probably seven or eight years old and did not speak to what they do. Crime Stoppers helps to create safe neighborhoods. Everybody thought they were nothing but wanted posters and rewards. So we worked with them and, and if, you know, if you look at the website, you can really see the results. We work with them to get their message out there, to rebrand Crime Stoppers so that people understood the first priority was creating safe neighborhoods. The second was teaching people how to maintain those safe neighborhoods and be safe anywhere they were going. And obviously the third was catching catching criminals. And that was an incredible challenge for us. And the testimonial from the CEO was, you know, something that I'll probably, I may put on my tombstone, just about how wonderful it was to work with us and and what a difference this website has made in the 90 days that it's been live. Yeah, messaging is always a challenging a challenge uh, for, for companies. I don't care what it is. It's amazing how slight variances can really either uh, grow or uh, undermine uh, an organization. You mentioned that a lot of your work is with nonprofits. Uh, kind of give us a, a, a panoramic overview of those nonprofits. Profits. What percentage did you say was that of your business? I think you said almost half. It's about half of our business. Yes, it's wow. about half of our business. And, and we, as I said, we have everyone from the United Way, which is an, an incredibly wonderful and interesting client in that every year they have a new campaign. So the, the image of it is redesigned every single year. And we're working on updating that already for the campaign that starts in August. And then, you know, we're working with launching the new Goodwill site hopefully in the next week or so. We have, you know, as I said, Crime Stoppers, Houston Food Bank, which is one of my very favorite websites we've ever designed. It looks just like Houston Food Bank, and you can do everything on the screen that you open the website to. You never really have to scroll anywhere or leave that page to volunteer, to donate, to participate, to get information. Very good. Charles, got about a minute left. Do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, I highly, highly encourage you all to uh, uh, visit contentactive.com. There are a lot of website companies in Houston, but very few of them do it as well as Content Active does. And I love the fact that they try to make it very user-friendly, and they really want their clients to succeed and really get their messages out to their target market. So I highly encourage you to visit that website. They really do have a wonderful organization and team behind them. Thank you. Yeah, very I, uh, I'm very impressed. I'm sitting here looking at it, and uh, really grateful to you, Charles, for bringing it to our our attention. It's Content active.com contentactive.com Charles on the other hand you can find him at cornerstonebusinessacademy.com thanks to both of you thank you thank you Kevin you bet when we come back uh, tomorrow of course we're going to have much much more for you I do want to remind you of course the best content here it shows up over there at usdailyreview.com have a great day spend it sensibly right here on this station <laughs> 